or against each other, if I'm being completely honest. You know... David and Victoria Beckham have acknowledged that over their 27-year relationship, they experienced ups and downs, to the point that they nearly reached a crisis. The Beckhams celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary last week, and while they seem stronger than ever, their marriage was formally challenged by long-distance relationships and adultery accusations. While David, then 49, was playing for Real Madrid in April 2004, he was the subject of press reports that claimed he had an affair with former PA Rebecca Luz. Sarah Marbeck, an Australian beauty model, claimed a week later that she had had sex with David in Singapore, while Manchester United was on tour that year. Danielle Heath, a beautician, also reported having slept with David six months later. David released a statement saying, Over the past few months, I have grown accustomed to reading more and more ridiculous stories about my private life, in response to the controversy that would not go away. To put it plainly, I am a very happy married man. My wife is amazing, and I have two really exceptional children. A third party cannot alter these facts in any way. Victoria and her boys Romeo and Brooklyn were living in England at the time, while David was living in Spain. Victoria didn't say anything about the controversy, and the pair was often seen holding hands and seemed to be quite happy. After all, the Spice Girl opened up about the experience in David's Beckham Netflix docuseries, which debuted last year. Posh sobbed as she said, we were against each other, while screenshots of newspapers detailing Rebecca Lou's accusations appeared. It was the hardest period for us, stated Victoria, because it seemed as though everything was against us. And here's the thing, if I'm being really honest, we were against each other, you know, there were moments in Madrid when it seemed like we were up against everyone else. However, we were paired up. We had a connection. We had one another. However, we didn't truly feel like we had each other when we were in Spain. That is regrettable. How difficult it was and how it affected me is beyond words. In response to the director's question on their survival, David said, To be honest, I'm not sure how we made it through. To me, Victoria is everything. It was very hard to see her in pain. However, we are combatants. We had to battle for our family and for each other at that particular time. And it was worth it to battle for what we had. But in the end, it's our own lives. After the document was made public, David acknowledged that he had no idea how he got through it, but that his marriage had survived in the end because they had each other. In an interview with Jason Bateman for Smartless, David stated, I think that's something that both Victoria and I get really worked up about. We looked at each other after the documentary was finished and said, I don't know how we made it through the last 27 years, but we did. And now we have an amazing family, an amazing business, and we're happy. And sure, everyone knows that after spending so much time with someone, there will inevitably be ups and downs. But in the end, we were fortunate to have one other throughout those times.